I'm the cat toy lady. And today's toy is another one that your cat is going to love, but there's a little twist to this one. It's another one that you can donate. So many of us are stuck at home looking for something to do, something that's going to make an impact on other people or pets and really help out. So why not make cat toys and donate them to local rescues? If you think you've been bored, stuck in the house, not able to get out, think about what your cat goes through. They're constantly stuck in four walls, bored to death. That's why they need toys. The toy today is similar to one that I've made in another video where we use a brown paper bag to make a toy that's a circle with fringes on it. We are going to do the circle again, but this time it's going to have a tail and it can be attached to a wand or played with as a fetch toy. You need chunky yarn. It comes in lots of colors. It doesn't cost much. And for this toy, it'll make lots of them. I think I'm gonna use the teal today. You also need a brown paper bag and a glue gun. This one's a dual temp glue gun. It does hot and low temperature. I like using it on the low temp. That way I don't burn my fingers. And of course you need scissors. Let's get started. On the brown paper bag, we're going to just cut about an inch up from where the fold is on the bag. And then just cut a straight line. Now we're gonna cut the bag again, but we're just cutting this little section out. Just cut down this edge and this edge. So just cut off the side. This part, you're going to end up folding on the crease that's already there, and then start on one end, pinch it in the middle, and start twisting. And the spot where you started that's still open right here, don't worry about it. We're gonna use it for another part of it so you don't have to make that part into the rope. Just watch. So you just start twisting. All right, see how it's starting to untwist a little? We're going to twist it back tight, leaving that edge exposed, and put a dot of glue right here. There we go. And then twist it nice and tight, wrapping that glue in. Whoa. You can get about eight of these out of one paper bag. With your yarn, cut about seven to eight inches worth. You can eyeball it. You just have to have enough that once it's glued in, it can flap around. So the trick to this is how you glue this in. If you look really closely, there's a seam running down the middle. We are going to cut all the fuzz off of that braid, off of the top inch of this. So there's our seam, and you're gonna run your scissors right along the edge. It naturally wants to hug the braid that's in there. And any extra little pieces, you can just keep trimming off. You might have to fluff it up a little just to get those to stick out. See, that's all you need. Now we have the piece that sticks up, and you're going to take your pointy end and this piece, and they are going to get glued together. You are going to take the fuzz and glue it, point it that direction to the top here, and wrap it around the back. That way, the end is completely covered. So start with glue, dot of glue on the top, and dot of glue on the bottom. You don't need too much. And then take the tip on one side, and then wrap it around the base and press it together. And you can kind of roll it back and forth in your fingers a little, just to make all the glue stick to the fuzz. And that's what it looks like. It's all folded over, starting on this side and folding around the edge. Now to glue it into the circle, hold both ends again and really twist it tight. You don't want to leave this part loose. And then we're going to put a dot of glue right here on the inside, a big dot and squish it down to where it's in the ring. So while keeping everything twisted, Get your glue on here. I'm going to kind of put it right in the middle. Any glue that squishes out, you just pick off with your fingers. And then squish it in. And you can wrap any of the loose paper around, catching all that extra glue. And really just squish it with your fingers and hold it in place. See this extra glue? Just pick it off. No biggie. There you go. The ring toy is done. They can pick it up and hold it in their mouths. It feels like an animal. It has a really good wiggle and flop to it. Attach it to a wand. Use it as a toss toy. They can toss it by themselves. Trust me, my cat does it. And it's that quick and easy. You can make tons of these for a rescue group and it costs you pennies. And we all have a little bit of extra free time right now. So why not use that free time for something good? Every cat when they get adopted should have their first toy that they go home with. 
to their forever home. And now that you see how boring it can be being trapped inside the house all the time, you know how important it is to keep them up and moving and keep their brains active because being stuck in the house, it sucks. And if you're curious about other toys that you can make that are inexpensive that you can also donate to rescue groups, check out all these videos. And if you haven't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now go make some toys for a rescue group.